Okay, so check this out. I found a really fun way to make knit patterns in Affinity and not have to place every individual um, knit element. So check this out. Check out how it's a brush instead of a design. So not only can you curve your design to fit any line, but you can also change your colors without having to do anything. I like the color wheel and not um, the lines. Check this out. So now, once it's a brush, you can just change your color using the color wheel and it keeps the integrity of the variation. The way I do this is I create a pattern. These are my, this is my pattern board. So here was the Jew, the Jewish stars. Here, let me group these, get them out of the way. Check this out. So I created this. I did have to individually hand select each one of these to change the color. But once you have a repeating pattern, okay, you can export it as a ping. Uh, if your pattern, see how there's a little bit of space after the last row in the knit pattern here? So if you have a little bit of space, you do want to keep that integrity when it repeats. So what I did is I have this little group of, I spaced an extra group here to keep the ping the correct space, and then I just made it invisible. So this is a group. You export this, then you go to brush, brushes. Here are all my custom brushes. You click the little toggle menu, new textured image brush. You upload whatever your thing is. So like, here's my stars. Where did my stars? Knit stars. This is my stars ping. I already saved it earlier, obviously. It will automatically set it to stretch, which you don't want. You want it to repeat. And then here. Oh. So now, if I draw any line anywhere, let's say I just use my pen tool. Here's a line. I can select my, why isn't it repeating? I select that. If you expand the stroke, you can make the stroke as large as you want it. Now, instead of uh, an image, I have this awesome pattern that I can place anywhere and this is super fun to create faux knit dresses on Printful, which is what I just did with this design. Here's the mock-up for my faux. Nope, that's an old mock-up. I, I had some issues placing the sleeves, so I abandoned it because here's different sleeve options. Anyway, this is what my dress is going to look like, hopefully. I just had it printed. It says Happy Hanukkah around the bottom. Those are different brushes. How awesome is this? Okay, bye.